you sometimes you just open up uh, a browser tab and you you Google something to see if the internet is working. Yes. Uh, I've just written in uh, poo, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I, I was writing poo, and uh, the most under people also ask when you Google poo. First one is uh, what is a better word for poop? The second question is is my poop alive? <laughs> the third. What should your poop look like? Right. Fourth, are you supposed to poop when pooping? And then the fifth question is, what are the signs that death is near? <laughs> Wait, what was that fourth one? <laughs> are you supposed to push when pooping? Are you supposed to push? I think. Uh, I yeah, think, as in, like, squeeze them out. I think so that let them fall out. We both we both know someone who who would say that you aren't, and they're the only person just... we know who claims that you shouldn't yeah. do and that. He, he took five days to do a to do a poo. He does, take and so it long. is not run out. Yeah, it's not it's not useful for when you're well, you're waiting for him to get in the car. Yeah. Well, maybe well maybe that's why he wants to know when I mean, he, when he, death he, is near. He's living a bum bum life. He's he, literally living a bum bum life because of the amount of time he spends on his bum. Yeah, he's 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 got the he's the very epitome of a bum bum life because his life has to be planned around his bum bum. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's actually the etymology of where the phrase "bum bum life" comes from. Um, if you look back in the records, its first uh, appearance was in uh, the uh, Canterbury Tales about yeah, yeah. Uh, well, a man who's pooed really, sl- really slowly. Um, because, of course, in the old days, peasants, the the, very, the, the who we all had contempt for, all peasants were all constipated, and so they had to uh, plan their lives around their uh, horrible constipated uh, shitting yeah so that's uh, yeah that's true that's where bum bum lives comes from <laughs> uh we have a we have a message because uh, you uh, of course phil last time you and i discussed someone we know who does long plops yep who refuses to push his, his plops out and expects gravity to gravity to do all the work no matter how long it takes yeah, so just to be clear for the listeners, Phil and I literally know someone who shits exclusively through gravity. Yeah, erosion, like a glacier. <laughs> uh, well, so they've sent us an email, and uh, it's it's all in capitals, and it's written in a very interesting way. So I'm going to try and do it justice. Uh, the subject line is, Anonymous Threat from Anonymous Friend. Um... And friend is spelt without an I. I'm, uh, dear... I'm impressed you opened that email at all. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm a brave boy. Um, dear Pierre and Phil, call me a bum bum life for my long plops, would you? <laughs> Think... <laughs> Think you can mention me in your podcast and not hear about it? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. You'll regret it for your own information. You don't push or squeeze plop out. You heed your bod relax and it let the river run, all right? Not my rules, it nature's. Call me a bum bum. You're a bum bum, you two. Have a care. You'll catch it. You'll catch it. When I'm done with you, that's the end. <laughs> You'll order a sugar eagle and go look at sugar eagle and instead... Off drop in sugar, it'll drop to your eyes and pluck them out and go, that was better than waiting five years to get in the car because that was your other choice to have a no eyes. And it wasn't a sugar eagle, it was me on a hand glider. Call me a bum bum, you're the bum bums. Stop looking at my... <laughs> Stop looking at my goggle searches. Is death near? Yes, for you, if you talk about my plops again and your Nazi little Skyper chats. Watch out, mind out, that's all I can say. You'll catch it, call me a bum bum. Okay, thank you. See you at Phil's next wine and farts party, which is my uncle cool. (laughs) Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy, officer. So I well, think what he's saying is that one of these days um, we're going to use his full name on this podcast and he'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listener, if you remember a couple of episodes back, we accused one of our friends of um, pooing by erosion. Yeah, um, and he does—he doesn't use his uh, sphincter 
He believes that the natural way to poo is uh, like a glacier. Yep, to just literally sit and wait for, in a way, almost philosophically, the poo to do him. <laughs> and we had to share a cottage in Wales with him this weekend. Yeah, uh, but it wasn't too bad actually. It was fine. He the, the only bit that was weird was when, and, and I mean, we should have assumed this because it's the logical extension of his philosophy. He also doesn't understand or believe that there is a way to pee faster. Hmm. Whereas if you tense your lower abdomen, it applies pressure to your bladder, and you pee moderately faster. Then yeah, you would not absolutely. be paid. I mean, you'll save seconds on the dollar, as it yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he yeah. doesn't believe that that's a thing. And even if it was a thing, he believes it's like so detrimental to your health. It's very odd that he's so obsessed with like the idea of using your muscles being bad for you. That's that's a very. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Our friend um, Apu, a slow poo friend. Yes. He's very good at uh, swinging uh, like toy swords around, like they would, like Aragorn would. Yeah, he can spin at things with his hands, which is um, the hmm, the most uncool cool thing. Yeah, being yeah. able to spin a sword around. Yeah, yeah, because it's like you've practiced that, and also it you're you're not you're not you're not a paladin. Yes, yeah, exactly. So I know you've practiced with that, doing that with sticks. Yes, and... Uh, when you should have been practicing uh, pooing faster. <laughs> yes. You should have been practicing having anus muscles. You should have been doing uh, pelvic floor exercises. Yeah, yeah, bare minimum. Bare minimum. <laughs> oh, Phil, we've, ha- we've got some messages. We've got another message from the slow plopper. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, so to k- get her on up to date, we, Pear and I have a close friend uh, who poos slower than any human has ever lived because he genuinely believes that it's bad for you to squeeze it out and that it has to fall out of you naturally that, by that, erosion. That if your natural muscles don't do it on, on, its, on their own. Mm-hmm. It's, it, in my head, it's the equivalent of holding in piss until it bursts out. Yeah, it, it is insane. But and okay, what, what's he said now? Dear Phil and Pierre, and, and and this is going to be hard to read. Okay. Because yeah. it's all in capitals. Great. And it's j- mad gibberish like it was last time. Dear Phil and Pierre. <laughs> Been on Molly Days, so just caught up with your Weasley podcast episode 11. You'll catch it, you'll catch it. It's done now, it's finished. Having a plop at me, welding a sword What's like finished? a real man. What's finished? The, 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 this holiday or our <laughs> podcast? First thinks this, Phil. You make me laugh having a plop. Just because I was learning to defend myself with a stick over the park, whilst you were busy rubbing a calculator all over your face in a hair condition room, crying because nobody licked you because you licked like Dexter's lab. Oh my god, what was he talking Because we were talking about him spinning the sticks. Spinning oh the umbrella. yeah, spinning his, his, his spinning umbrella. His swords, yeah. Second thinks, second thinks, why taunt a man who can slay thee with a blade? You're for it, both of you are for it, and by it I mean death by blades. What's an uncool cool think it's uncool Phil not having a head? It's cool if I lop it off with a plastic tube from Matalan, slow but nice and great. Ho ho ho, I'm imagining it now, what a wheeze. Ho oh, ho, don't say I didn't warn you, lop lop lop. Eterallo and utilian. I don't even know what that is. I can feel us losing listeners <laughs> every time every time you read one of his emails. Uh, uh, I can feel people t- turning off and unsubscribing. What's that? It's Aragorn's coronation oath. Have that, you fucking pair of scutters. Watch out. <laughs> scutters. <laughs> Sloppu is how he signs off. Oh my god. Please stop sending those in. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> That was Nonsensical garbage. Absolutely mad gibberish. And it, we, we will not stop. It just means he's going to keep writing in. Um, we will not stop saying you're supposed to squeeze your poos out. You have muscles <laughs> in there for that purpose. <laughs> God's sake. We have an email from the slow pooer. Oh, really? What? Yeah. <laughs> He's, uh, he heard... So what a rare treat. Yeah. Well, it's all... Uh, listener, if you don't know, the slow pooer is a, a person we know who doesn't use their bum muscles to poo and takes ages to poo as a result because they just let the poo happen on its own. He is convinced that the, the natural way to defecate is by... Inertia. Sort of glacial erosion. Yeah. It's very weird. And uh, we talked... Uh, the, the lady on Five Live wanted to talk about it. Of all the things... <laughs> 
That's what 2 a.m. radio is. And she was genuinely fascinated. She was like, wow, that's so... She well, because it is insane. I think she said at some point, I'd love to talk to him <laughs> about it. <laughs> Maybe we should do an interview, like, like arrange it, and they're like, an actor has spoken the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To maintain anonymity. Or maybe muffle his voice like, Well, I just don't think it's good for you to squeeze your bum cheeks together. <laughs> what if I did myself a, a mischief by pushing poo out my bum? Yeah, like he's in the IRA <laughs> in a documentary. Um, so the email is written entirely in capitals and deliberately, I think, badly spelled and weird. Yep. Uh, well, 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 mention me at primetime BBC5 Live. So uh, mention me. He yep. says. Talking about my plops with Sarah Blep. Well, that's torn it. You'll catch it. You'll catch it. Catch what? It's never clear. Yeah. I think he means fate? Revenge? Catch, yeah, I guess it, revenge. You'll catch it. You'll catch it. Or just another email, probably. Yeah. Five billion listeners UK-wide tuning in to my plops. You ought to be ashamed. My grands might have been listening. Did you not think of that? No. Uh, they're crying for weeks now. And it's yours too's fault. We're listening to this on your five life. I'm on my way to your toilets. I'm on my way to your toilets and they're getting filled up with frogs. I mean, full up, dead and alive, I've got frogs. And glug, 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 they'll be, <laughs> they'll be bulging up your toilet, so plopping for you will be a pipe dream only. <laughs> and then you'll say, I wish I had longer to sort this out. And you'll take time in future for plops and you won't mention me on the booby sea. I hope you like the taste of frogs up your asses. You'll catch it, you'll catch it. Uh, from Slopu, S-L-O-P-U. So he's going to come to our toilets and fill the toilet bowls with frogs. It's certainly what he's threatening. Okay. And, and he seems to be saying that we'll, we'll have to do our shit so quickly for fear of frogs that we'll miss the time. No, isn't he saying that we'll have to take so much time arranging our shits, getting these frogs out of the way, that we'll effectively become slow poo as ourselves? Either way, I think he's trying to convert us to his point of view with frog violence. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we don't negotiate with bum terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, um, that's well, that has shown us we won't mention Slow Poor anymore. Yeah, unless the BBC does. Yeah. We will respond to questions, I guess. 